Welcome back to 40 TV with your host 40. Uh, sorry for the long hiatus, guys. I've been trying to get motivated to do some more videos. So, anyways, here I am. Today I decided to throw a quick tutorial um, how to use AutoTune uh, to apply that T-Pain effect that uh, a lot of people dig. Um, so let's get started. Anyways, uh, Audio Track 1 has the AutoTune uh, Evo uh, effect loaded already with the default settings. When I click on the wrench here, it opens up the audio effect. Right now, um, we're just going to make some quick changes. Maybe I'll do another episode to give a little more in-depth uh, information about AutoTune itself. But uh, right now, you want to change your input type depending on your voice. I have kind of a low voice, so low male would work for my vo uh, vocals. Um, we want to make sure that the retune speed is set to zero. We're also looking for a relaxed tracking, so we're going to set that to 100. That's right up here. Um, we're going to change the pitch amount to zero. The amplitude amount we're going to leave at 10. The formant amount we're going to bump up to 80. Right here, um, we have no vibrato set, but everyone always says drop this stuff to zero. But it doesn't matter because we don't have a shape um, selected here. We're also going to uh, enable the formant. Um, and then what you want to do, depending on what type of uh, key your track is in, um, for this particular tutorial, I used uh, just a little snippet of um, Buy You a Drink from uh, T-Pain. And um, that's actually in uh, D-flat uh, major. So go ahead and you can uh, switch your key and your scale here. They're very important. If you don't select it correctly, uh, it's not going to sound right. Anyways, once you have these settings uh, selected, when uh, you can close the effect, I'll give you a couple of examples. Right here in this track labeled speech, you'll see that I have the auto-tune Evo, uh, or Evo deselected, so it's not enabled. I just have a compressor with some reverb and another compressor uh, after the auto-tune is uh, being used. But uh, here's how it sounds like um, without the Evo. What up, y'all? This is 40 from 40 TV. I'm speaking here, not singing, showing you an example of auto tune uh, through spoken word, right? Pretty cool, right? <laughs> it gets worse when I uh, do that uh, buy you a drink verse that I'm going to show you in a second. But, anyways, let me uh, enable the auto tune Evo. And if you see right here, um, when I load it up, it's all the settings I told you about. The retune speed, the tracking has changed, the pitch amount, the amplitude, the formant, and it's enabled here with all the vibrato settings set to zero. Uh, again, D flat majors. Uh, I set it uh, for this for the spoken word. It really wouldn't matter. I could adjust this because right now I have no other, um, I don't have a song that's played in a certain key. So let me close this, uh, enable the auto tune Evo, and play it back for you. What up, y'all? This is 40 from 40 TV. I'm speaking here, not singing, showing you an example of auto tune uh, through spoken word, right? As you can see, through spoken word or speech, etc., you don't sound, uh, hear the effect as much. I'll go ahead and click stop on the transport a couple times. If I switch over here to verse and I click on this, you'll see that I've auto tune um, Evo uh, enabled. And all I did is record my voice, which I'm not a singer, I'm not a rapper, so if you're critiquing my ability to sing or rap, then uh, <laughs> don't worry, I have no um, delusions of being able to do so. I just did it for the tutorial, and I thought it would be kind of cool to uh, reference a song where this is used in. Um, again, all I'm going to do is uh, play this little uh, clip of the instrumental, along with the verse that I sung over with the autotune Evo. Of Evo, Evo. Well, I'm having so much trouble saying that, right? Uh, effect applied. Go ahead and push play. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you, let me buy you a drink. I'm for oh, you know me. Convict music, nappy boy. I know the club, close at three. What's the chances of you rolling with me? Back to the crib, show you how I live. Let's get drunk, forget what we did. Again, <laughs> I'm apologizing for my vocals, but uh, 
I have no shame. <laughs> it was for for you guys for the tutorial. Anyways, I hope uh, you caught the gist of it. Go ahead and play with it. Uh, a lot of the numbers uh, you can mess around with. Again, if I switch back here, I open up the effect. Um, you can uh, adjust the amplitude amount, the form and amount, and the pitch amount, and still maintain that effect, um, the T pain effect, and with some minor adjustments it will change it slightly um, the real important factor is the retune speed right here being uh, set to zero and the tracking uh, being set to relaxed or 100 again if you have a higher pitch voice or if you're female you're going to switch uh, whether you're a soprano alto tenor etc you can apply this effect uh, to an instrument or a bass as well Go ahead and play with it. Hope you guys learned something here. Um, look forward to seeing new videos. 40 TV wasn't just made to do Ableton videos. Uh, I created the channel as well as the website to do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, probably look out for some tutorials about uh, video production, post-production, more audio tutorials. I'm thinking about doing some jokes, putting them on there. Um, and anything else that interests me, I guess. Leave comments, rate, subscribe, feedback, etc., etc. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. All right, I'm out.